to my Q&A video and I'm so excited to finally get to your questions. It's been a super super long time since I've done one of these and you'll probably see a doggy Molly, a baby Claire, and a big girl Kinsley at some point in this video. They are playing in the living room while I'm doing this video. I got them occupied for now but I really wanted to get to this video for you guys and so hopefully you guys will enjoy it and I'll try to get to all of the questions. I I'm going to get to the ones that are mostly liked. So those are the most popular questions that y'all wanted to hear from us. And then I'll try to get to more also. But this could be a long video, so stay with me. Um, I'll try to put below when each I'll try to put below each question and at the time that it starts. Hopefully I'll get time to do that and that way it'll be easier to get to the question that you want to hear instead of having to listen to this probably hour little video. So first off, Amy asked, any more plans for babies? So our plans for more babies is that we are very happy right now with our two girls and we would love to have one more. Sorry, you may be hearing some baby playing music over there. We would really like to have a third. We've always kind of wanted three no matter if it was boys or girls but I just kind of always figured we'd have a boy and a girl and then just like surprise maybe have one more you know you know it doesn't matter boy or girl but and obviously if we have three girls we'll be so in love with them and that'll be awesome yeah yeah so of course right when I get started my memory card fills up and Claire gets the changer and turns Kinsley's show she was watching so anyways I'm back okay and try to do the video so yes, we would love to have a third um, boy or girl. Of course, we have two girls. We'd love to have a boy, but if it's not a boy and a girl, then we'd love to have three girls. But I think either way, we'd be awesome with three, um, three girls, two girls, and a boy. However God plans it for us is how it's going to be, and that's going to be what we'll be happy about, and it'll be awesome. And <laughs> we're absolutely loving our two girls right now, and that is not like... That is not like set in stone the plan because I've always said that I cannot wait for my kids to get older and actually go on like fun vacations with them. So I don't know, as the girls get older, we may feel like it'll be awesome just to be able to go do stuff with them because it's really been a lot of fun to do stuff with Kinsley now that she's going on five now. It's been fun to do like activities with her and so I know it'll be a lot of fun to enjoy that with both the girls. But, um, so we'll see, and we'll probably space them out about the same, um, unless something surprise comes up, surprise comes up, which we're not planning on, but anyway, yeah, we'll just have to see how it goes, but, um, I think we'd like to space them out about the same if we do have three, but I think that's where we're at right now, so. Okay, hey Jenna, so she asks, what would you be doing if you weren't a hairstylist, and where do you and Joel see yourself ten years from now? Wow, that is a big question. So, I I don't know what else I would be doing if I wasn't a hairstylist. Um, I did, I had thought about being like um, a kindergarten teacher at one time, or like a preschool teacher or something like that. But, of course, I love doing hair. My mom did hair, and I grew up watching her doing hair. And then once I actually got into doing hair, I loved it. The only other thing is I cheered all through high school, and it was a lot of fun. And then I did the competition cheerleading, and I loved, love it, love it. And I think I'm going to live through that also, through the girls getting Kinsley back in gymnastics. And I'm just so, like... I just love that sport, and it's just a lot of fun, and I just know how much fun I had doing it that I think the girls are going to love it, too. Obviously, they'll do whatever sports they want to and love, but I definitely think one of them will probably be more into it, kind of like I was, and I would have loved to have went to, like, college and cheered and just seen where that kind of took me, but I didn't end up doing that, so maybe one of the girls will, though, like I'm saying. I'll kind of live through them going through it. And this girl wants to join us. Oh, yeah. Also, 10 years. 10 years. Wow. That means Kinsley will be, like, almost 15. And Claire will be almost 10. So, that is just going to be great. Sorry. Just going to give me. That, I just, I can't imagine myself with a Kinsley. 
Ashley, can you please be good for me? I just, I can't imagine my life with a 10 year old and a 15 year old. Like, that will be crazy. I did see, we went to Target the other day with me and Joel went on our date day. And we were going down an aisle. And we walked down an aisle with this lady. They were looking at, um, with this lady and two girls standing beside her on each side. And Claire keeps wanting the camera. And I, like, literally walked by the aisle and saw them and, like, had to back up and look for a second. And I was like, Joel, come here. I was like, look at them. I was like, this is, that's me and the girls right there. And, like, ten years, like, I want to say it's going to cry because that's, that's, like, crazy to think about. They're going to grow up, and they're going to be, like, right here at my shoulder, standing beside me, and we're going to be going shopping and doing fun stuff. It's just so crazy. I mean, ah, it's, ah, oh, my God. Like, the thing about stuff like that is, like, unreal to think. Um, like, we're going to be best friends and go shopping together, and they're going to be my everything, and it's going to be fun, but, like, it literally was, like, surreal to see them. So, okay, I'm going to stop talking about that before I cry, but I just literally thought I had a flash forward of what I'll be like when they get older. So, <laughs> the other thing would be, as they get older, um... Or as we get older, I see me and Joel having our businesses, um, having my hair salon. I feel like I always have my hair salon. I may not work as much as I, I've obviously had to work a ton being the one to provide for us when Joel was in chiropractor school. But once he finally gets his chiropractor business going, then we'll be having um, both incomes and then I won't be able to have to work as much and I'll be able to enjoy things even more with the girls and Claire she keeps having the camera I need to get you some toys sorry this is already getting super long I can see the time it's like 10 minutes long so um anyways I see us also having a beach house in the future we've talked about having a beach house to go to like I used to have when I was growing up and it was a lot of fun and I love it like being able to just say all right let's take off for the weekend if we have a long weekend um if you're I don't know just go on a fun little trip and love being at the beach and near the ocean and all that kind of stuff so I just I love that growing up and spending most of our summers at the beach and so yeah I like I can't wait so we can do that. Obviously, I feel like we'll have a bigger house, which you all guys, you know, we need a bigger house. So we've got lots of clutter and toys and stuff. And so, okay, finally on to the next question. <laughs> I don't know. We have to make this in a couple parts. I don't know. Anyway, Julia, how do you discipline Kinsley? So, with Kinsley, normally if she does anything bad, if she's not like listening or whatever, we've gone to the counting thing. So it's like if she's not listening, if we count to three, she's going to time out. So we do like three, two, one. Okay, time out. She doesn't get there. Normally by the counting, she'll do it. She knows she'll sit and come out. And she freaks out if she's sitting come out because she's not going to sit and come out. So normally, most times she'll listen. Um, but if we have to do time out, it's usually by her age. Yeah, but if she has to sit and come out, she usually sits and time out for about four minutes. And then after her time out, we sit and we talk about what happened. Like, I'll ask her questions like, so why were you in trouble? Like, you know better? You can, I don't know, just try to talk to her. You coughing? And, um, it's pretty much our discipline that we try to do is, um, getting her to listen, or if we're, like, out somewhere, I try to take her to the side, either bathroom. Normally, she's at age now where I can talk to her, and she'll understand if we have a moment just to kind of, like, just, just take a break for a second and talk about what's going on, and, like, you know, and she'll kind of understand and settle down, like, whatever it is. So, Devlin, if that's how you say it, would you and Joel like to have a baby boy? Yes, we'd love to have a boy. Um, I think that would kind of even things out as far as boys and girls. Joel is definitely outnumbered. Even her dog is a girl. And so I think we would absolutely love I think that maybe in the future we may would have like um, a little 
Dolly Boy dog. Maybe that in the future. Okay. Ray, do you plan on sticking with K for your kids' names? What are some names you like? How many kids do you want? So, I kind of already answered that. We would like to have three. But we don't know. We could just have two. We could have four. We're really not positive. Come here for a second. Come here. Ah! Look at my hair. Ah! Okay. And as far as K names, um, we're, we're not positive, but we do have a boy K name picked out, which we had that picked out early on as soon as we knew we were having another one because i really thought i was having a boy with claire which you guys already know the whole story or i think you do anyways so we um i already have a boy came name picked out sorry claire bear but i don't want to say it yet because it's not set in stone um we're all the time like if we hear names we're like oh i like that so um we still have less names that we like but we don't want to say them um yet yeah we like to keep that to us for now so but um whenever the time comes i will for sure let you know and let's see okay caitlin how many kids do you plan on having a lot of you guys want to know how many kids when are we gonna have more babies the YouTube family loves babies. You love these guys. Yes, they do. I love you. They always want to know. Baby, baby, babies. We only have more babies than how many. But that's awesome. I mean, we love, obviously, our family and want to have more eventually. And that'll be awesome. Jazlyn, do you enjoy making videos? Do you guys think Kinsley and Claire might want to vlog when they get older? Yeah, Kinsley already, like, definitely knows about the camera and vlogging, and she wants to video sometimes, and sometimes she wants to talk to you guys. Like, she's like, Mom, camera, like, she has to tell the camera and you guys something, <laughs> and she, or she wants me to film, like, her dancing, or she, yeah, she loves all that. Um, bah! So, I for sure think they will want to vlog, they'll probably want their own channels, they'll probably want to be a part of this YouTube family also, which is really awesome and we love it. Yes, I absolutely love making videos, especially our vlogs to get the, like, all the memories that come with vlogging, like, that is my favorite part, like, just to... When I do my one, two years ago, when I put those at the end of my videos, a lot of times I'll end up watching a little bit of it, and it always makes me cry, I'm like, just to remember back all these memories, and that's the main reason that we do the videos, love to have those slip back out, which I've always, always loved pictures and videos, like, I had a video camera pretty young on, and I wish that I could find those videos and share with you guys, but I videoed, like, even before YouTube. I would just video, like, I would video doing my friend's makeup. I would video doing my cheerleading stuff, um, cheerleading routines and watch them back. And, like, I video all kinds of stuff. And then I absolutely loved pictures, took pictures all the, all the, all the time. And so then when YouTube came in my life, it was just, like, I loved it. Like, I loved doing the videos and editing, and it just grew from there, which is so crazy. But it has been really, it really has been been like awesome and I still love it absolutely so I do think I really do think that they'll get more involved too as they get older okay Allie do you ever think you will move to a new house or place if you have any if you have another kid would you need to move yes um I think okay I think we will move I'm really not sure like like we don't know we could move in a short amount of time, like a year or so. We can move. <laughs> For us, it would be beneficial to stay at this house as long as possible, um, save money, and then be able to get, like, our dream home. Um, or we've thought about moving sooner into, like, a little bit bigger house, and then, obviously, our dream home. Um, but who knows? I mean, we've done a lot of work on this house. We love this house. And I just see, I could see us here for a long, long time. I could see us keep modifying this house for us and making it work. But 
We don't know. I mean, that is a huge question that is like, like we have no idea. But of course, you're going to be on the ride with us whenever we do finally decide on moving or anything like that. I will for sure let you guys know and like be going through that process with us. Which I think will be a lot of fun once we finally, um, if we look for another house and things like that. Of course, we want to get it. I almost think, I mean, it'll be a big decision for us. <laughs> Um, actually, because we really, really want a beach house. Um, we have talked about this for a long time. We almost, I think, would like to get... We, all, we are going to be um, in a hard decision as far as if we want to get a beach house sooner. Like, would we rather have a small house and have a beach house to go to, locations, or would we like to get a bigger house? I think we're going to be in that situation... We're going to be in that situation and be trying to figure that out. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think you would rather have, like, a little vacation home to go to? Or would you rather have, like, a bigger home? Um, so yeah, I guess everybody has their own opinions with that. But, um, but yeah, I would rather have a beach house sooner than later. But, that is just, like, a huge dream of mine. Because... I love the beach house, like the beach home, and we, I've been saving for that. I feel like that is the main thing I've been saving for, because I, yeah. So, let me see, she's wanting my camera right now. Uh, go get that, go get that. Go get it, go get it. Alright, I may have to actually do a Q&A Facebook and a Q&A YouTube, because it's getting super long. So, I might do that for real. So I'm going to I'm gonna finish up here. I have so many questions just on Facebook alone. Um gosh, I would love to answer all these. Maybe what I can do is actually answer a few of these in the vlogs or something like that. I don't really know what to do because there's so many that I wanna answer, but I just don't have the time to answer all of them and like this video is going to be forever long okay let me go to youtube and answer some thank you guys for watching i'm going to go and do my q a for my youtube questions now since facebook got so long and those weren't even a lot of questions but i'm going to do that one for this q a for facebook and i'll try to answer more of them maybe in the daily vlogs or i'll finish them up um and do another one soon so thank you guys so much for watching um, subscribe, comment, like, check out our daily vlogs, check out hairstylesouther.com, and we'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. Bye! Kick us out of here. We're gonna kick us out of here. before 4th of July, so I'm off. Heather's not. That means I've got to finish up some stuff, hopefully on the deck that we can have a barbecue out there. And on the way here, I ran into 